So today we're gonna do Rosie the Riveter um, Halloween costume. Uh, it should be easy. You should be able to recreate this look with anything you have at home. So if you guys wanna learn how to get this look, just keep on watching. All right, so let's get started. I already did this eye, so we'll just make the other eye match. So let me zoom me in. All right, so we're gonna use the e.l.f. Mad for Matte. And we're gonna take this first shade and just set our whole eye. And I'm using the R39. Uh, I put on um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, concealer to prep my eye. This eye is gonna be really easy. Um, actually, this whole thing is really easy. Uh, my idea is basically to show you what you can do as far as like a Halloween costume that you already have at home and you don't have to buy anything. So then I'm going to take this third color and define my crease with the same brush. This is literally what I am just about every year because uh, it's easy. It's just simple, normal makeup, no FX, and if you keep the, basically, the only thing you need is a red lip. You can do whatever you want on the eyes. I just like doing the cat eye with it. And then this color, and just deepen up the outer corner a little bit more. So basically, just keep the same headband and you can do this every year, like me. This is my like fourth year in a row being Rosie. I'm actually about to head out to a Halloween pumpkin decorating. So I figured if the kids can dress up, why can't I dress up, right? Um, with a M513, I'm going to take that first color again and just blend out the top a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm taking an M503 and this dark chocolate color. And just rolling that around in the outer corner. And taking the M513 and just swirling everything together one more time. All right, then I'm just taking a flat brush, taking the pink color. And just putting that all over the lid. And then for a little bit of sparkle on the lid, I'm gonna take NYX's Girl Talk. And I'm gonna take the same flat brush Put that right where over top of that pink that we put down. And it's just a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm gonna take the R39 and that this color again. And just go in the crease a little bit more. And blend all that out. I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Noir Liner in black, liquid eyeliner. It's the pen that I always use. And I'm just gonna give myself a wing. I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna try to get this side, this side to match this side. So we shall see. And I'm just gonna clean up that wing part. There we go. I had to wipe it off and restart again, so that was exciting. Um, but yeah, so that's the finish eye. Very easy, other than the wing, which you don't really have to do, but I had already done it on this eye, so it's going on the other eye. Anyway. 
Um, I am going to line my water line, which is going to look really gross. Um, just take any waterproof black eyeliner that you have to do this. Um, this one's just a Sephora. So that's the eye look. Um, I am going to... What am I going to do next? I'll do some mascara. And then um, I'll put on my lashes and my eyebrows off camera. So I like to put lashes on if I do a winged eyeliner just so that way I don't lose my lashes. If you don't want to wear false lashes, don't do it. Don't do anything you don't want to do. I actually hardly ever wore false lashes before I started this channel and now I can throw them on pretty easily so it's not like a too hard for me like practice does make easier we'll wait to put on bottom mascara until we're done the rest of our face so for lashes I'm gonna use something new these are uh, kiss lashes in the style ritzy um, I got them on Amazon for like three dollars but they are an add-on item so you have to pay you have to spend 25 bucks to get them but it's not that hard to spend 25 dollars on amazon for my eyebrows i'm going to use the l'oreal brow stylist definer in brunette and the essence make me brow and then the essence clear brow gel so let me throw that on and i'll be right back we're going to use maybelline that fit me matte and poreless I'm going to use a M439 today to put this on. Why? Instead of my beauty blender. Because I don't feel like getting up and wetting my beauty blender. So, that's why we're going to use this. Probably going to still get it up and to wet my beauty blender because I like the beauty blender for concealer better. Being a little bit gentler around my nose ring. I uh, attempted to put a hoop in it. Well, I did put a hoop in it yesterday, but I decided I didn't like it and took it out immediately. And my nose ring is not happy with me. All right, I'm just gonna go all over that with my beauty blender. It didn't look bad with the brush. It just, I could see some brush streaks. And then I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Then I'm gonna blend it all out. Careful around the nose ring. Poor babe, that's so sore. And if you see that there's like great right around my eye. I didn't do underneath my eyes yet. I just had some eyeliner still there. So they look a little smoked out underneath right now, but say lovey. It is what it is. We'll smoke it out and it won't look weird. It's just right now. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera or not. All right. I'm gonna take some of the RCMA no color powder. And I'm just setting underneath my eyes just with a little bit. And I'm just lightly setting everything else with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 120. Just a light dusting. Light. I'm going to take Rimmel Natural Bronzer and Sun Bronze and just warm up my face a little bit, bring it back to life. You know, like when I'm editing, when I put on my bronzer, it's kind of my favorite thing when I'm editing, because I'm like, oh! Like that brings so much more to the look. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in Beloved. And then the Precious Petals a highlighter from Wet n Wild. This one might be my favorite. I really like how this one looks. Which is probably why I use it a lot. All right, let's do underneath our eyes real quick. We're gonna take 
a flat definer brush and this the third one in that elf palette and just run that underneath their eyes and then the fourth one in fifth one in I can't count and just put that kind of just right in the auto corner and then we'll take an E36 brush. No, let's take something a little fluffier. We'll take this blending fluff and just blend everything out. And then I'll take that E36 brush and spray it with some Master Fix by Maybelline. And we'll take that NYX Prismatic Shadow and Girl Talk and put that in our inner corner. All right, and then we'll just put some mascara on that lower bottom. So I am going to take the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Berry Red and outline my lips. Well, actually I'm gonna outline and fill them in. All right, so you could just leave it like that because it's a very opaque lip pencil, lip liner, but I'm going to take, and don't hate me because it is not a drugstore. Um, I'm gonna take Outlaw by Kat Von D. Uh, NYX has one, and I don't remember if it's, NYX has a red liquid lipstick. I like liquids for um, going out, especially like, you're gonna be out all night on Halloween. I also, like if you're gonna be eating or drinking. That was a stupid wink. Um, it's a lot easier to have a liquid lipstick on than it is to have a regular lipstick on. Okay. And final touch. And voila! So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm about to head out and enjoy some time with some other people's kids. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Can I get an amen? Preach! So I just learned like a new technique for like making sure that you don't have like a weird spot underneath and you just go like this. And bronze up there. Pretty. Make ugly faces. Ugly faces, pretty people.